Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video. And today I want to explain something very critical for the people who are starting to use the MailPoint WordPress plugin to manage their email marketing activities. If you don't know what this MailPoint is, this is a WordPress plugin that will help you grow your email list subscribers through creating opt-in forms and sign-up forms and sending welcome emails as well. I have already um, explained how you can use the plugin to its full potential through this video. I will leave down below a link to this full tutorial and also you can simply search inside my YouTube channel for MailPoint and you'll see this video. Now, what is the critical thing that I want to explain today? Now, to be able to use the plugin, you need to have an account with MailPoint.com and to have this account, you need to answer a survey question that or questions that will be manually reviewed by the MailPoint team. Uh, during surveying or completing this survey, you will be asked to tell the people your website URL and how you are going to use the plugin to collect your uh, email list, subscribers, emails, and contact information. And you need to wait, like, at, I think one or two days, then you will hear back from them about the approval of your account. And either you will have, like, a yes, your account has been approved and this is a success that you want to celebrate, or you will receive a message that says that MailPoint is still reviewing your subscription with them. How you can get rid of this message and what does it mean? Actually, this is what I'm going to explain inside this video. First, let me tell you this. You can still, um, although that you are seeing this message, but still you still can continue using the plugin itself. As you can see inside this WordPress website, I have already created two opt-in forms, um, one as a fixed top bar and also one as a sign of form that will choose or will be displayed at the bottom of each page. So what does this message means? Simply speaking, it means that you can't use the sending service of MailPoint. But what is a sending service? Now, once you install WordPress and you want to send emails outside or using your WordPress website, for example, if someone completes your contact uh, form or because you are using MailPoint, you will be uh, you will need to send some welcome emails or uh, lead magnet delivers emails to your email subscribers. To do this, to send these emails, you need to use a sending service because the default sending mode of WordPress is not that good. Most probably your emails will fall inside the spam folders of your email list recipients. Now, there are different uh, um, email sending services out there such as Amazon SES, Amazon Symbol Sending Service, Symbol Email Sending Service, and also Sending Grid. But MailPoint itself has its own sending service. And now, to be able to, you, to um, keep the reputation of the sending service of MailPoint, they need to ensure that you are using or you are having a good website that is legit you are not spamming people uh, simple speaking are not spamming people to collect their email um, addresses to grow your email list so how you can get rid of this message so you can have an account with mailport and be able to use their sending service of course first you can use a an outside sending service if we go to here to the settings tab if ma of MailPoint and we go to I think inside the SendWiz if you can you can choose here to use MailPoint or use another uh, service if you go here to use another service you can choose if you want to use Amazon SES or SendGrid or even your SMTB server but if you want to use MailPoint sending service you need to get rid of this message now how you can get rid of this message you can do this by following a few steps first if you are having a maintenance or a coming soon page that is uh, uh, preventing people from viewing your website, you need to get rid of this coming soon page. This is the first step. If you are not adding legal pages, I highly recommend that you add your privacy policy and terms condition pages inside your website. And one of the most important thing is that you need to have real content displayed inside your website. You don't need to have like um, um, like placeholders content, you need to have the real content inside your website. You have your, you need to have your homepage ready, about us page ready. If you are using the blogging feature of WordPress, you need to have a few blog posts 
ready and displayed inside your website and this way when the mail port team comes to your website and they see your website pages they will uh, see that you are trustworthy uh, website owners and they can give you access to your to their sending service so uh, once you do this once you add uh, like the content of your website pages some content to your blog posts and you get rid of the coming soon page and you add your uh, legal pages you can then contact mailpoint again and ask them to review your application again to give you access to their email sending service and once they approve your um once they approve your application you can again go to the mailpoint sending service here let me go to the settings sorry and you can choose the mailpoint sending service and once you do this you need to add your uh, verification or activation key here and once you do this now you can start using the sending service of mailpoint which is a very powerful service actually that will help you reach the inbox of your email list subscribers so this is the critical thing that i want to explain today because this is very important for the people who are starting to use the mailpoint plugin again this is a very powerful plugin i highly recommend that you watch my full tutorial about how you can use the plugin to create your sign up forms lists tags how you can add sign up forms at the bottom of the each blog post add a fixed sidebar uh, fixed bar and even as a sidebar now after watching this video please leave me down below any comment if you have any questions about the plugin please give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and please consider to subscribe to my mail to my youtube channel if you like this video now thank you so much and see you in the next video